Upon arrival at the Taman Mahkota Jubli Emas, His Royal Highness was greeted by Yang Amat Mulia Pengiran Lela Cetria Sahibun Najabah, Pengiran Anak Haji Abdul Aziz bin Pengiran Jaya Negara Pengiran Haji Abu Bakar, the Yang Dipertua of Adat Istiadat Negara, Yang Berhormat Pihin Orang Kaya Laila Setia, Datuk Seri Setia Awang Haji Abdul Rahman bin Haji Ibrahim, Minister at the Prime Minister's Office and Second Minister of Finance, Yang Berhormat Datuk Seri Setia Awang Haji Bahrain bin Abdullah, Minister of Development, Yang Berhormat Pihin Datuk Laila Raja, Retired Major General, Datuk Paduka Seri Haji Awang Halbi bin Haji Muhammad Yusuf, Minister of Culture, Youth and Sports, Yang Berhormat Datuk Seri Setia Dr. Awang Haji Zulkarnain bin Haji Hanafi, Minister of Health, and Datuk Seri Paduka Awang Haji Muhammad Roslan bin Haji Muhammad Daud, Deputy Minister at the Prime Minister's Office. Accompanying His Rohanis, the Crown Prince, was His Rohanis Prince Abdul Malik, Ibn His Majesty Sultan Haji Hasna Bokya Mu'izzadin Waddaula, and Her Rohanis Princess Haja Masna binti Almarhum Sultan Haji Omar Ali Saifuddin Sa'dul Khaliwaddin, Ambassador at Large at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince welcomed the arrival of His Excellency Teo Chee Hin and wife Madam Teo Chee Hin as well as delegation. His Royal Highness and His Excellency started the morning walk with a warm up exercise. During the morning walk, His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and His Excellency discussed and exchanged views on regional and international affairs. The meeting provided a platform to exchange views on the two countries' relations, which has matured and grown steady since 1984. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and His Excellency also signed a commemorative plaque at the Bulan Sabit Bridge to commemorate the fifth Young Leaders Program. Taman Mahkota Jubli Emas is one of the projects under the 10th National Development Plan, which is spearheaded by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince as the Chairman of the National Development Plan Executive Committee. The site of the Taman Mahkota Jubli Umas is previously an area of Kampung Air, which includes, among others, Kampung Ujung Tanjong, Kampung Sungai Kedayan A, Kampung Ujung Bukit, Kampung Bukit Salat, Kampung Sumbiling, Kampung Tajudin Hitam, and Kampung Tamoy. The construction of the park helps to improve and upgrade the drainage system of rivers, including Sungai Kedayan, beautify the surroundings at the Omar Ali Saifuddin Mosque, as well as provide a recreational facility to attract visitors and tourists to Bandar Seri Begawan. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and His Excellency also viewed an exhibition of the Youth Leadership Exchange Program of Brunei Darussalam and Republic of Singapore. The exhibition showcased the activities that they carried out during the six days starting from the 31st of October.
After the morning walk, His Rohanis and His Excellency proceeded for a breakfast at the Horizon Seafood Restaurant in the capital. Six months ahead of time. Wow. <laughs> 